large scale production of yeast. Yeast constitute an interesting group from a technical and industrial standpoint in microbial world and it has several uses in different types of industries. Yeast are generally found uh, in soil, uh, in curd, various foodstuffs, fermented foodstuffs and it can be very easily isolated from aerial surfaces of plants mainly from grapes, vegetables, pomegranates, etc. using suitable media. There are several commercial applications of yeast as we have learned earlier that is mainly in the production of alcohol and alcoholic beverages, baking process, foodstuffs, animal feed and production of different biochemicals. Among yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae is considered as the most versatile organism. It is, is used in several of these processes. Depending on the commercial application of yeast, there are several uh, categories. Yeast which are used in the baking process are called as baker's yeast. Then in ethanol production will be called as distiller's yeast. Uh, production of food yeast which is applicate which has application as uh, a food supplement uh, for human consumption food supplement for animal consumption it is it will be called as food assist the method of production for the production large scale production of yeast uh, general composition of the medium is that it should contain fermentable carbohydrates a source of nitrogen trace elements phosphates sulfates and vitamins along with that it should contain several growth stimulators that includes amino acids inositol thiamine pantothenate riboflavin and different types of uh, vitamins uh, several media uh, may constitute of brewer's wort grape must and apple juice that contains that serves as a source of these different materials for the commercial production, the medium can be prepared by using several basal media, for example, molasses based medium, cheese whey based medium, sulfite liquor based medium, and petroleum based medium. Uh, the use of medium is dependent on the variety of yeast which is to be propagated. For example, molasses based medium is basically useful for the large scale production of uh, baker's yeast, food yeast and distiller's yeast. Whereas cheese whey medium is useful for the large scale production of Cleuromyces fragilis and Candida pseudotropicalis uh, which are the food and food yeast. Basically these, may, these, uh, fine, uh, these yeast are a lactose fermenting yeast. So it is more, this, is a, this will be the most suitable media as it is rich in lactose. Whereas for the large scale production of candida utilis, it may be sulfite waste liquor that has an ability, the candida utilis has an ability of utilization of a wider range of sugars. Candida lipolytica, it is mainly known for the assimilation of hydrocarbons like uh, N -al alkanes. Therefore, the most suitable medium for the large for its large scale production will be uh, using petroleum fractions. A production of yeast is a multi-stage aerobic fade back process. Uh, in general, uh, this uh, production plant may consist of fermenters which are connected in series. In this figure, I have just shown only uh, four fermenters which are independently operated. Uh, all these fermenters are sterile closed fermenters which are connected in series. As the name indicates that it is a fade batch process. We have learned about batch fermentation. We have learned about continuous fermentation and the fade batch it comes after the batch fermentation. Uh, the simplest meaning of fade batch is uh, we have to feed a batch fermenter. That's why it is called as fade batch. That means there is intermittent addition of uh, fresh nutrient medium or substrate. Intermittent means after a periodic interval, there is addition of fresh medium. So in the first fermenter, that is F1, uh, sterile nutrient medium, a one third of sterile nutrient medium is added and then it is inoculated with the stock culture of yeast. 
uh, which is then uh, repeated which is uh, the same process is repeated for f2 f3 and f4 since it is uh, aerobic process uh, there is there should be uh, vigorous supply of oxygen uh, which is one of the essential factors here the major objective is the propagation of yeast yeast are aerobic organisms uh, if the supply of oxygen is less in this case then the metabolism may get diverted towards a fermentation and instead of getting a huge biomass there may be a production of uh, alcohol or uh, different type of alcohol like substances so in all these fermenters there is periodic uh, addition of nutrients or substrate unless the final volume is achieved and uh, at the end of the fermentation the aeration is uh, stop the addition is stopped the aeration is continued for next uh, uh, half an hour or one hour or so and then uh, the fermentation broth is uh, separated from all these fermenters at a time for the recovery of uh, the microbial biomass yeast biomass production of brewers yeast for production of brewers yeast steam sterilized production plant uh, is used uh, 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 in which there may be addition of pasteurized hop malt wort or the boiled malt now remember that this boiled malt is basically uh, it, it contains the in all the essential nutrients which are required for the brewers yeast uh, a typical system consists of two propagating closed vessels fermentation vessels and each vessel would be inoculated with 100 grams of presses that is the inoculum from a laboratory stock then there is continuous aeration at temperature of 20 degrees celsius uh, this process is going to generate a lot of heat as uh, there, there are going to be exothermic reactions and therefore this closed fermentation vessel has to be equipped with exterior uh, cooling coils through which the uh, cooling water it flows and it uh, it helps in the control of temperature then the yeast mass it exponentially uh, exponentially it increases to give approximate uh, 17 gram press yeast per liter after 48 hours uh, this culture will be then useful uh, for uh, this this will be the this will be the production of brewer yeast and this stock uh, this brewer yeast which is propagated uh, as shown above is it will be useful for the inoculation of fermentation vessels that is for the brewing process production of a baker yeast and distiller yeast Baker's yeast is propagated on beet molasses or cane molasses or black strap molasses based medium. The molasses uh, is uh, diluted with water, pasteurized, blended and supplemented with uh, essential compounds such as the source of nitrogen, ammonia and ammonium sulphate, diammonium hydrogen phosphate and magnesium sulphate. A small amount of production medium uh, is added into a sterile closed uh, production fermenter uh, inoculation which is then in a followed by inoculation with cream yeast or uh, stock yeast which is propagated fermentatively in successive seed fermenters from laboratory culture then there is uh, aeration that is supply of sterile air there is intermittent feeding of fresh medium uh, into a vessel that as uh, we have learned earlier that it is a fed batch process so it is called as a fed batch process so it is necessary uh, fed batch that means intermittent addition periodic addition of nutrients is essential since uh, as uh, the high concentration of sugars like sucrose glucose or fructose so these sugars which are present in molasses are responsible for repressing the respiratory uh, enzyme so high concentration it represses the uh, rep respiratory enzymes and if the respiration process is hampered the biomass uh, the building up a biomass of yeast it will also get suppressed so in order to get higher uh, amount of biomass these sugar should be added in 
दिस शुगर शुड बी एडेड इंटरमीडियंटली दैट इट मे दैट मीन्स पीरियोडिकली सो दैट द फाइनल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन शुड नॉट एक्सीड एंड देर शुड नॉट बी रिप्रेशन ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी एग्जाम्स दैट इज वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई द फेड बैच प्रोसेस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ पीस टू कीप the ratio of cell mass this is also essential to keep the ratio of cell mass and sugar uh, constant accordingly the rate of aeration is adjusted uh, during this process there is going to be a lot of foaming therefore there is use of anti foam agents like polypropylene glycol silicones uh, there is going to be production of heat which can be controlled by the circulating coils the ph is kept in the range of 4 to 4.5 which can be maintained by the addition of several neutralizing agents finally the after the incubation period is over the addition of nutrients is stopped the period that means the fed batch uh, a feeding of nutrients is stopped and the aeration is continued for next 30 minutes this uh, the, after feeding is stopped Uh, the the further incubation is essential because that will allow the cell division to complete complete cell division means formation of complete yeast cells no presence of budding cells so this uh, continuous uh, aeration it will help to reduce the number of budding cells the final culture mainly contains approximately 50 grams of uh, yeast uh, dry matter per liter the recovery uh, it involves clarification separation and clarification of yeast so yeast are separated uh, the liquid bulk liquid is separated uh, it will be uh, thick in nature it will be called as yeast cream so this yeast cream is washed for the separation for the clarification of yeast cells that means for the uh, separation of any coloring agents which are contributed by the media such as molasses so yeast cream is frequently washed with water centrifuge again it is mixed with water uh, washed with water and centrifuge so there are several cycles of washing with water and centrifugation that will help to help will helpful for the clarification uh, or the separation of coloring matter in the next step is dewatering that means this is a method of concentration that includes drying of the product on uh, equipment called as rotary vacuum filters as we have learned in the last semester a dryer product containing 30% of dry matter content uh, it can be obtained at a temperature of uh, drying at temperature of 45 degrees celsius then the blocks of the yeast are prepared and these blocks are uh, stored can be stored at low temperature from uh, this yeast preparation uh, it can be further pressed for the separation of water uh, that will give a consistent product uh, having a percentage solids of 29 to 31% uh, it will be called as compresses or uh, this yeast mass uh, it can be excreted through a screen in order to produce a homogeneous product and it is chopped uh, finally it is dried the pellets are dried in uh, rotary dryers for 6 to 24 hours at 45 degrees celsius uh, so as to obtain the product called as active dry yeast uh, similarly another formulation it can be a yeast formulation it can be prepared uh, so this formulation it can be diluted with uh, water in order to form yeast cream so that the final preparation uh, contains 17 to 19% of solid so these are the several formulations of yeast which can be prepared and which can be stored at low temperature unless it's use remember that saccharomyces species that is distiller's yeast produced on molasses media for the use in ethanol production that is in distillery are produced in the same way as the pressed uh, baker's yeast